When we look at the past of computerdom, it's through a lens which is very peculiar because things have changed so much so fast. Now, to me, those the 50 years of, since I've been in the computer field have uh, uh, gone so quickly that the past seems ever-present. In the 60s and 70s, a lot of young people started communes, and it was a combination of, of, of uh, free love, which is a term you don't hear anymore because it's taken for granted, and, 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 uh, and uh, pot, and uh, LSD, and idealism, and hopes for a new kind of economy. And, uh, and, and that spirit of that age leaked into the computer world. There was a sense of possibility at the beginning that is different because we thought computing would be artisanal. We did not imagine great monopolies. We thought the citizen programmer would be the leader. When I say we, I mean I, but of course, I sh had a sense I was sharing this with a lot of people. Uh, had visions of democratization, of, uh, of citizen participation, of great vistas of possibility for for artistic expression and uh, uh, artistic expression in software. And software is an art form, although not generally recognized as such. And because of Moore's law, which had been stated to me not as Moore's law, but just as a general principle, things are going to get faster and cheaper. We will be able to afford it. Right now, a computer with a screen is $35,000. Tomorrow, who knows, it'll be $100 someday. <coughs> so that uh, now is the time to start thinking about what would be the documents of the future. As I would abstract it now, the two concepts were we can have parallel connections between Visible documents. So you can have you can have two pages with a connection saying this sentence is connected to that paragraph, and see it as a visible strap or bridge, and and uh, and uh, you can't do that yet. So that was one of my hypertext concepts, and the other hypertext concept was was being able to click on something and jump to it. So uh, as the hypertext concept developed and deteriorated over the years, the uh, only the jump link became popular in the hypertext systems of the 60s and 70s. And then Tim Berners-Lee uh, uh, created the World Wide Web, which was the sixth or seventh hypertext system on the internet. <laughs> People think it sprang from the brow of Zeus. And in fact, <clears throat> it was just a, a, clean, a clean job that had the clout of CERN behind it. How to see the possibilities when there are so many things around you that are a certain way? I can't, I don't know. The future is an unknown place. And there are a lot of scary things about it. And, uh, and uh, what aspects you're going to approach, whether you're going to go on thinking about leisure or about, about the terrible problems that confront the world. All I can say is close your eyes and think what might be. My first software designs were largely done with my eyes closed thinking, now, if I hit that key, what should happen? If I hit this key, what should happen? I was able to imagine, they, they say this can't be done, but I, when my interfaces were built, they always felt the way I knew they would. And, I, and the people at Xerox Park said, that's never possible. You never know how it's going to feel. But I did. <laughs>